Hello everyone and welcome back. If you've been following the Chatterbox SRT voice extension on GitHub or our Discord channel, you know we've made some incredible advances since version 3.0. Today we're diving into the F5 TTS integration, overlapping subtitle support, the powerful F5 speech editor, the audio wave analyzer, the pause system implementation, and our flexible character switching system. Let's explore what makes version 3.2 so special. First, let's talk about F5 TTS versus Chatterbox. The F5 TTS is an established model that's incredibly flexible, with extensive community support offering multiple trained models and languages, while Chatterbox is limited to English only. However, Chatterbox represents newer technology that can sound better overall, with higher quality results that are less dependent on reference audio quality. In my opinion, Chatterbox is more reliable but can sound more standardized, even when exploring increased exaggeration values. It maintains a consistency that can be great, but also sound eerie. F5 TTS to me can sound more accurate to the target reference audio, but it tends to be more sensible and expressive in an erratic way. And sometimes it causes audio distortions and hallucinations if you don't tune its settings. In terms of controls, they each have unique strengths. Chatterbox offers the exaggeration setting for fine-tuned expressiveness, while F5 TTS lacks this but provides native speed control. Chatterbox doesn't have built-in speed adjustment. For specialized tools, F5 TTS shines with its native speech editing capabilities. Chatterbox doesn't have editing features but comes with built-in voice conversion capabilities that F5 TTS lacks. In my opinion, Chatterbox delivers more standardized, reliable results while F5 TDS offers more creative possibilities, but with less predictability. To explore these differences, I'll make a practical test with you. Half of this video will be recorded using F5 TTS and the other half using Chatterbox. So leave a comment guessing which half used which technology and let me know which one you preferred. So now let's go on to the presentation. We now have three new dedicated F5 TTS nodes. The standard F5 TTS node, the FISRT node for subtitle timing, the powerful F5 TTS speech editor node, plus the audio wave analyzer node, A and two advanced options nodes. Oh, that is a lot. Let's explore the microphone F5 TTS voice generation node first, the standard text to speech node. F5 TTS, it's different from Chatterbox in how you use it. You will always need to provide a reference audio file and a matching text transcription text, while with Chatterbox, it's just an audio file used directly. But worry not. There is also a new character voice system that I'll talk about later where you can store and load all your voices with the reference text from within your model folder or from the bundled voices example folder. This makes it even easier to just load your preferred voice from the drop down menu here. Just like Chatterbox, FTTS learns the voice characteristics instantly. No training is required, just the audio, text reference, and clicking to generate. We've also implemented the chunk system here on the normal generation node. So no worries about your text size. Let's see this in action. Hello, this is F5 TTS integrated with Chatterbox Voice. It provides high quality text to speech with voice cloning capabilities using reference audio and text. Now here's where things starts to get really exciting. The F5 TTS speech editor paired with our audio wave analyzer creates a workflow that was simply impossible before. This was a lot of work to create, Oof, but look at it. It looks nice. The audio wave analyzer gives you an interactive interface waveform view right inside Comfy UI where you can visually select regions for editing. Let's explore this a little further, but this node has many options and you can check the documentation for keyboard shortcuts and a better explanation. I'll just show you guys a quick review of the interface, each mode, and how to use regions. First, load your audio. You can drag and drop, click on upload, or connect it to the input. The input will always have the priority. 
Now, to see the waveform, you will need to click the Analyze button, which will run the workflow. But one important thing to remember, you need to have any output connected here, or else you won't get the correct waveform when clicking on Analyze. You see here. You now can click to play. The idea of when you're on key and when you're off key. Five years of doing it, you kind of... Click to pause. The idea of when you're on key. Zoom in and out. Years of doing it, you kind of get an idea of when you're on key and when you're off key. Move the speed slider, which has a rubber band effect. You can drag it way out up to eight times the speed. And uh, sometimes you can go by looking at... And can move backwards as well. Kind of get an idea of when you're on key and you're off key. And instantly play back when it goes back into a positive value. Yeah, if when you're on key... You know, after 55 years of doing it, you can get an idea when you're on key. This is very useful yeah. within the time stretching, slowing down values. Um, get an idea of when you're on key and when you're off key. Get an idea of when you're on key and when you're off. Get an idea of when you're on. Get an idea of when you're on. Get an idea. Of... You will have three methods here for auto analyzing. They will output detected start and end of detected regions. First, the silence one, where you will get the silence part of the audio. Here is an advanced tip. Connect the options here and click on invert regions. And now you have the speech sections. The energy mode that detects volume changes, supposedly good for music and instrument analysis. But honestly, I don't know if anyone will ever make much use of it. and the peaks method, which analyzes the spikes on audio, which is another way to detecting sound regions. With this mode, you better choose a group region threshold of at least 0 0.085, like this. Anyway, for our use here now, on this example, we better just stick with manual mode, where I'll select and decide each region to be modified, like this. Now let's say you want to replace just one word in a sentence. Click and drag to select that word on the waveform, then use F5 TTS speech editor to replace it seamlessly. The editor maintains the original voice characteristics while replacing only the selected portion with your desired changes. This is perfect for fixing mispronunciations, changing specific words, fine tuning delivery, or even creating completely unexpected funny edits without regenerating the entire audio. If you've come from generative image tech, you can think of it like an in-painting of audio. Let's explore some examples here. You know, after 55 years of doing it, you kind of... ...when you're on key and when you're off key. And uh, sometimes you can go by looking at the camera operator or something. And, you know, after 55 years of decoding alien transmissions, you kind of get an idea of when you're onto something and when it's just microwave burrito instructions. And uh, sometimes you can go by how fast the FBI van drives off. You know, after 55 years of making chili, you kind of get an idea of when it's delicious and when you've summoned Satan. And uh, sometimes you can go by whether the smoke alarm starts crying. You know, after 55 years of doing stand-up, you kind of get an idea of when you're killing and when you're just slowly dying inside. And uh, sometimes you can go by the bartender cleaning the same glass for 40 minutes. One more feature of my project in the edit department is that, just like when you in paint an image to preserve quality, you need to composite. Here you need to do the same to preserve the original audio. So my node will do that automatically. Before this edition, all the non-edited audio areas would be affected by the edit, but now it does not. And one more thing about the edit node is that it has some advanced options to help with the crossfading. If you don't choose the correct start and end, you will not get good results and it will be very prone to clicking and stuttering. These options are highly experimental and might not change much on your final results, but you can play with them here. Your best bet is partnering this up with Audio Wave Analyzer node. So, 
you go on and select the best regions of the start and end of speech to be edited. Now let's talk about character switching. One requested features people asked about a lot is podcasts and changing voices on a conversation. So here it is. You can now have multiple characters speaking within a single workflow using simple bracket tags. Just type something like, hello there, then add Alice in brackets. Each character can have their own voice file stored in your voices folder with matching text files for F5. The system works with both Chatterbox and F5 TTS nodes, automatically switching voices as it encounters character tags and returning to narrator when a line ends. Hello there, hi, I'm Alice. Let's see this in action. Hello, this is F5 TTS integrated with Chatterbox Voice. It provides high quality text to speech with voice cloning capabilities using reference audio and text. Help voice cloning capabilities using reference audio and text. Back to narrator voice. We've even added a character alias system using a simple text file for easy character mapping. No complex configuration, just a clean text file where you specified your desired character alias name and its corresponding audio file name. An audio file can have multiple alias. Now, let's move on to the subtitle node, my favorite node, and the reason why this custom node project even exists in the first place. F5 TTS SRT node works just like our Chatterbox SRT1, but with F5 TTS capabilities. You get the same three timing modes, stretch to fit, pad with silence, and smart natural. If you are in need to understand their differences, please check out my previous video about Chatterbox. Another major addition is the overlapping subtitle support. Version 3.1 introduced the ability to handle SRT files where subtitles intentionally overlap in time, which is common in conversation scenes, rapid dialogue, or when multiple characters speak simultaneously. Previously, overlapping subtitles would cause timing conflicts and the workflow would stop but now the system intelligently detects these overlaps and will reproduce them as intended. It automatically switches from smart, natural mode to pad with silence mode to preserve the intended overlapping behavior. So keep that in mind. The audio mixing ensures that overlapping segments blend naturally while maintaining the precise timing specified in your SRT file. This is particularly powerful for creating realistic conversation patterns where characters interrupt each other or speak over one another, adding a new level of authenticity to dialogue-heavy content. And the timing reports now clearly distinguish between original overlaps from your SRT file and any overlaps generated during processing, giving you complete visibility into how your audio is being assembled. Let's see a fun example. Hello, this is the first subtitle. I'll make it long on purpose. This is long. Are Back you sure? Am I speaking now? This is the second subtitle. With the audio precise will match timing these and many overlaps. Back to me again. This sounds like a mess. Another interesting addition is the pause tag system. You can now insert precise pauses anywhere in your text using intuitive syntax with brackets like this. Use S for seconds, MS for milliseconds, or just the number to default to seconds. This works across all both family nodes, Chatterbox and F5. The pause system is intelligent too. It processes text segments separately and caches them independently. So changing pause duration doesn't invalidate your TTS cache. Speaking of caching, we've completely overhauled the caching system for massive performance improvements on normal TTS nodes. The new universal caching system works across all nodes with intelligent cache keys that prevent invalidation from temporary file paths or minor changes. Each text segment is cached individually with character awareness, so you only regenerate what actually changed. This makes iteration incredibly fast. Change one word in a long script? Only that segment regenerates while everything else loads from cache. The system even shows you cache hit and miss status so you can see exactly what's being reused. Smart natural is natural. I'll speed up the video, but take notice how I keep changing pauses, sentences, and words on this large generated audio, and only this segment gets regenerated. Adjusts timings within the timing tolerance setting. 
prioritizing natural audio and shifting later segments. It applies stretch or shrink within the limits set by the minimum and maximum stretch rate. Smart natural is natural smart it is intelligently. Adjusts timings within the timing tolerance setting. Prioritizing smart natural is natural smart it is intelligently within the timing tolerance setting. Let's also highlight Chatterbox voice conversion enhancements. Version 3.2.1 introduced iterative refinement with intelligent caching for voice conversion. You don't need to chain voice conversions anymore. Let me explain. What I've encountered before is that sometimes with Chatterbox voice conversion, the result of source audio didn't always end up that similar to the target voice using only one iteration. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. You know, after 55 years. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? I wonder how many people are fighting. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? Down? So, chaining another voice conversion would help. You don't need to do it manually. You can just choose how many iterations you want directly on the node. You can automatically progressively improve voice conversion quality through multiple iterations with instant experimentation. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Hey, you're... Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? I wonder how many people are fighting. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? Down, down, down we go. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Hey, you're not nervous, you think? Down, down, down we go. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? I wonder how many people are fighting. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? Down, down, down we go. Keep in mind, too many iterations can lead to audio distortions. The caching system remembers each iteration step, making it incredibly fast to try different approaches and find the perfect voice conversion result. Really? You're even more quiet than you wish all. Shay, you're not nervous, are you? I wonder how many people are fighting. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? Down, down, down we go. Finally, we've also improved error handling and diagnostics significantly. F5 TTS installation issues are now clearly reported with detailed diagnostic messages to help troubleshooting. One important final thing to talk about, Chatterbox, it's an incredible, annoying bug I've found when generating multiple small segments in sequence. With the new character switching capabilities, this can be a very common situation to end up with. This bug is inherent from the model itself, so to crash protect you and prevent CUDA errors from short text segments, I've introduced a customizable padding template. This will detect small generated segments of less than 21 characters and pad it with the template you choose. You can add words like you see here on the default template. You could add noises or repetitions. Seg means the short segment. This is how the default template will sound like. Um, wham. Uh. Hmm, no. Hmm. Hmm, yes. Hmm. Hmm. Say what? Hmm. Hmm, that. Hmm. This is not ideal, but it will allow you to keep generating with Chatterbox with no errors. So, let's wrap up. All of these improvements work together to create workflows that were simply impossible before. You can now create complex multi-character conversations with precise timing, seamless voice cloning, and surgical audio editing capabilities. Whether you're editing subtitles, creating character animations, tutorials, audiobooks, or any content that requires multiple voices, the Chatterbox SRT voice extension now gives you professional grade tools within Comfy UI. The combination of F5 TTS quality, character switching, intelligent caching, and precise editing capabilities opens up creative possibilities we've never had before. If this overview excited you about the new features, please give this video a like and consider subscribing. I'll be considering creating detailed tutorials on any of these features if you guys ask for it. Let me know in the comments which feature you're most excited about or what kind of projects you're planning to create.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next videos.